Hey guys, it's Jen from Scan and Cut Canvas and Scale Help on Facebook. This is a member question on how to do this. So I will just show you. You know how you have the nice straight letters all the way around and then the ends kind of drop off. So let's make it kind of big so that you can all see it. All right. So I'm going to come up here to my effects. Well, hmm, let's try bulge. You need to keep the top and bottom separately. And then we're only going to be working over here on bottom offset, bottom curve. Okay, so let's, let's actually start. Oh, that's not the way we want. Yeah, that's it. But we need to work on that curve because that's kind of not, not very pretty. So let's put it like that, and let's keep growing it. I keep going the wrong way. I did it again. Okay, so something like that. So let's click OK. And then we can grow it. So having this design, nice long letters here, but then it kind of fades in, or fades, yeah, fades out and then fades back in, okay? But it's uh, the bulge effect that you want to use. And I think sometimes with the warp, yeah, with the warp you can pull it down even farther and you're not risking the integrity of those inner letters. I need to be careful to make sure those lines stay straight. Looks like having janky stuff. Okay. So I technically use two of the effects. It's this distortion tool and then the effects bulge effect. Okay. All right. If you guys have any questions, you can come find me over at Scan and Cut Canvas and Scalp Help on Facebook because I do not have time to come back over to YouTube to answer questions.